we're going to be considering uh, basic utility functions and decision theory, just give a quick outline. Um, so basic utility functions, when you, you want to consider opinions about value of certain gain versus uncertain gain uh, and to use decision trees, we can use utility functions. Um, they transform gain to a scale that reflects the preference of the decision maker. Now, that's very important. So we can take into account what kind of person you are. So we have, or we shall be considering, three types of utility function. The first one is risk averse. So you are averse, averse to uh, risk. And these tend to be, well, they are concave. Uh, an example of this would be uh, utility function equal uh, root of x, for example. Uh, another type is risk seeking. So if you're the type of person who enjoys uh, taking a gamble, being risky, these tend to be convex. A good example of this is x squared. If you can see where we're going here. Uh, and the final type is risk neutral, which is obviously neither of the above and is linear. And yes, you're right, it's x. And if I give you a quick sketch of these functions, you'll understand where I'm coming from. So here we have <coughs> u of x equals x. Here we have u of x equals root x. Whereas on this hand, we have u of x equals x squared. So what's happening here as values tend to get bigger, uh, we're being told for x squared to take more risks. And as you can see with root x, at least it's being more cautious uh, and telling us not to take as many risks. Um, a good way of seeing a visualization of this process is if I draw a very small and very brief decision tree. So a small decision tree uh, regarding to toss a coin or not. So if we get heads and we've tossed the coin, we get 20. I don't know 20 what, but we get 20. However, tails will give us zero. If uh, we choose or we opt to not toss the coin, we are given 6 anyway. So, obviously a risk seeker would probably choose to toss the coin and go for 20. Let's see what a risk averse uh, utility function would tell us to do. So we draw our decision tree. Here's our decision. And here is our variable outcome. So this decision is don't flip. This decision is to flip. And we have a heads and we have a tails, and we assume it's a fair coin with probability 0.5 on each point. Now, instead of um, writing down the outcome of 20, 0, and 6, if we use a risk averse function and instead we consider root 20, root 0, which is of course 0, and root 6, we have 2.45, uh, 4.47, and of course 0. Um, so 0 0.5 times by 4.47 gives us an answer of 2.5.
2.24 and we don't obviously have any probability involved here because we know we're due 2.45 so what do we do if we if we don't flip we have 2.45 if we do flip we would be due 2.24 so we've been told by the risk averse utility function where we take the roots not to flip and to take the six straight away thanks for watching